Welcome to the Critic Kulis, I'm the Monk, and today we are doing another video on Disciples Liberation. Now, within this video, it's all about the Resurrection Combat Spell. Now, it's very easy to miss this combat spell. In fact, you never even have to go in the dungeon where it is. So within this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to get the Resurrect spell. If you're anything like me, you've gone through battle after battle, losing unit after unit, and it's constantly draining your money. With this spell, if a unit dies, you can just reach into the graveyard and pull them back out again, meaning you haven't lost that character. It's extremely useful, and I wish that I had it sooner. But guys, if you enjoy this video, learn something new, or just find it entertaining, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss out on more Disciples Liberation content, as I'm always uploading more and more. And I currently have 90% of all subscribers not subscribed, so it would really help the channel out. But anyway, let's get into it. So eventually you're going to come to an area within the game called the Path of Flesh and Flames. Now there's a good few things to do actually within this map, but the one place you never really have to go is the birthing bay. Now I personally walked past this dungeon once or twice without actually realizing. I figured that the main mission would lead me in there, however it doesn't. So once you've done whatever it is you need to do, make your way to the birthing bay. Now within this dungeon, you are gonna come up against a few good fights. Uh, there's one particular very strong dragon, which you can thankfully just completely bypass. But once you have a little explore, do a couple of the little fights, you will come up against, or you will see a massive dragon called the Nanny. And sitting before the nanny is an interactive rock. It looks like, like a bit of rubble. Um, you can interact with it anyway. If you try and take one, um, like I did, it will get the nanny to say, hey, what are you doing? You're taking my babies type of deal. Now, she will give you a mission to fill a vessel. And quite simply, you just need to return back to her once you have done this. Now, if you actually have this mission equipped, you will have a way marker uh, to follow. If you're anything like me, I normally have the main mission um, actually selected. And if you do have the main mission selected, then this one won't be up for you to follow. But you can use, um, you can change which mission you have selected to make it a little bit easier for you to find this person. But once you find them, they kind of offer to buy it off you. Now don't do this, if you do, you will fail the mission and you won't get the scroll of resurrection. However tempting it may be, I personally very almost done this. But if you fight the priestess of the righteous, um, you then simply just have to return back to the nanny. Now the priestess herself isn't really much to speak of, very easy battle, um, I had absolutely no problem doing this fight obviously you may not be my level so here's a little look see at what she is packing like i said personally i found it nice and easy and it was uh, quite a simple little battle but after you defeat her you'll gain access to the generator and then the game will prompt you to then return back to the birthing bay and return back to the nanny and once you do so, the nanny will prompt you with two different options. Basically, you can ask to bring back someone that uh, has died, someone from your past, and you have two options. It doesn't really matter um, which option you pick. It will result in the same outcome. Now, this upcoming fight is a little bit trickier than the last one we just had. So bear that in mind, maybe even heal your troops up if you don't have a big or a tough army. As you can see, these are the troops that you're going to face. And like I said before, this fight is a little bit tougher. However, keep in mind, all you have to do is kill the rebirthed one. If you kill that single unit, the fight will be over. But after you win the battle, after a little cutscene, 
uh, you will get 10 points plus to the Legion of the Dan. You'll get a little bit of an XP, another shard, and of course that all-important spell of Resurrect. And it really is very, very easy to use. When one of your units die, you simply select the spell. Then you pick the person that you want to be resurrected. Select where in the battlefield you want them resurrected. And poof, there they are. However, just note that you will need to be able to do tier 3 divine spells in order to use it. You can also resurrect fallen enemy AI as well. And before you ask, no, unfortunately, they do not come back as your units. You cannot cheese the game and make them your units. Trust me, I've already tried. But guys, that is it. That is how to get the legendary Resurrect spell. Honestly, it's massively helped my game and I hope it helps your game. And as I said earlier, if you've learned anything in this video or just found it fun to watch, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and of course, comment your thoughts down below. What's the one spell that you could not play without? For me, I think Resurrect is definitely high up on that list. But guys, I've been the monk, we've been critically clueless, and I will see you in the next video. And until then, happy gaming.